I've never felt so positive about the start of the year. And it's due to this program. It's due to our approach to you know, taking that time, that necessary time that teachers have always wanted with their kids to touch base with them each morning, to figure out, hey, how's your day going? Get their day started in a positive way. I want to create this video so that the parents can see what it looks like in the building, what it looks like in the school, seeing the kids in their discovery rooms, the teachers interacting with it, seeing the, the, the mixed grouping of fifth graders through eighth graders in the room, interacting with each other, building those relationships, creating those families, changing the climate and the atmosphere to improve our school. The discovery program is a character building program that we hope to embrace uh, a cultural change that will improve the climate, behavior, academics, everything across the board. We see it as a huge game changer, making our school a better place, making it so that every kid that walks in our building every single day is just excited to be here. So the first week of Discovery went off better than I can ever imagine. And since day one, it's just gotten better and better. Every time I walk through the hallways, every single morning, you can see the interaction, the relationship building, just growing and becoming more positive influence on the students. You can see it on their faces in the hallways. As soon as they leave that classroom, I mean, they're just so much happier, so much more ready for the day. Uh, the teachers themselves, a jump start to them because they had this great positive interaction you know, 10 minute block of windows, you know, dedicated every morning to, you know, start off everyone's day. Teachers and students really embracing this whole entire uh, program. So our first day six was an amazing, uh, kickoff was amazing. The kids really bought into that 40 minute period in which they were doing school-wide jobs, intramurals, performing arts, uh, clearing the decks, which is our uh, sitting down talking about the most relevant issues of the day, whether it's a worldwide issue, whether it's a community issue, or just with a school issue. Being kind or being smart. There's no right or wrong. Maybe you feel smart, but it's fucking important. I'm sorry. Uh, anyway, we're basically going to take that and make it a structured time to open the door these in a productive and mature way. So basically, it's the time for us to get together as a, you know, a family basically, and get to know each other better and help each other out, and then to not turn around and gossip about it outside the room. Our first one was Brother's Keeper. Why is it important to be your Brother's Keeper? Why is it important to take care of each other, to uh, help each other out? We're going to be working on the character trait Brother's Keeper. Melissa, what do you think? Like, to treat people like a brother. Like, what does that mean, treat them as a brother? What does that like, mean? Treat them kindly, like, act like your family. Don't exclude them. Okay. They're, like, in the group. Okay. So it's when you're responsible. You have, like, a responsibility for not just yourself, but kind of everyone else. In intramurals, it was led actually by one of our phys ed teachers, Mr. Steven Santor. And when he did, the purpose of intramurals is to get the kids down there, get them working those team building act type of activities with each other. So it breaks the barriers between, you know, uh, it breaks the barriers of, of fifth graders through eighth graders and, and like athletes, non-athletes, uh, kids who are quiet, kids who are art leaders, and it just brings them all together to accomplish this simple task. So the kids start off learning how to communicate with each other, learning how to get in close proximity with each other, learning how to uh, you know, take leadership roles, uh, find weaknesses and strengths in each other, and then capitalize upon them to accomplish a specific task. And these are all you know, important skills that are necessary for all of us to be successful in our jobs and in lives. And uh, these kids are gonna have a great time doing it because they're, he's incorporating fun type of activities down there. Part of the kickoff for the Discovery Program is that we implemented a Spirit Week last week. Each day we, we charged the students with a specific job. On day one, the simple task was just saying hi to as many people as you could. But day two, we had random acts of kindness. On day three, the students were charged with saying thank you to teachers and staff throughout the building. 
And you know, what better way to you know uh, set the tone with meeting your teacher or just, you know being part of the community is the same thank you to your teacher. After our first week, we wanted to really recognize the students who were really putting a, that extra effort in them. So that's where we created the This Is Who We Are program. The Discovery teacher will take, will nominate students from their own Discovery rooms that went above and beyond in their classroom to help out other kids and really truly embrace the Discovery program. Do you see where you want it? Yeah. Have a good day! Anyone need help? It wasn't just academic success that our, our school was recognizing. This was character success. It was success of going above and beyond and doing what's necessary in order to make our school great. We recognize the fact that you're going above and beyond. We really want you to go out and just be that leader. Show other students so that it becomes contagious, so it becomes part ingrained in our culture and our uh, environment here at East Penn's Row. Because this is who we are. You guys have to decide on your own what we're going to do.